What is up guys, Rick Hackus here, and it's Saturday, so it's time to showcase some more amazing community designed exotics for Destiny. Now this series started out when I partnered with Benjamin Radiman who makes these amazingly realistic and awesome exotic weapon concepts. And it started out that I was just showing off some of his ideas but this series took a huge turn when Benjamin started taking the ideas from the comments section of these videos. So the exotic concepts you're going to see today came from the comments section of last week's video. So if you've always had an idea for an amazing exotic in Destiny, at the end of the video I'm going to leave instructions for how to properly submit that idea and if Benjamin likes it, you have a great chance of being featured in next week's episode. Now if you want to learn more about any one of these exotics being featured in this video and if you want to see exotics that were made but didn't make it into the video, check out Benjamin's art station linked in the description down below. Now if you enjoy this series and want to see more, don't be afraid to rate and especially share this video. Especially because the better these videos do, the more seriously Bungie takes it. And although they won't actually remake word for word any of the exotics featured in this video, there's no reason to think that they can't get inspired by some of the ideas we're bringing up today. And at least they'll see how important we the Destiny community view exotics being added into Destiny and hopefully Bungie will add more in the future. Now let's get started with a bang. First exotic we're going over is an exotic scout rifle concept by Rohit called the Kindler. And the first things first, I love the look of this weapon. It looks absolutely incredible. Now the exotic perk for this weapon would have it so that if you get a kill with this scout rifle, you're going to create a fire at the corpse that you've killed. That's going to create a damaging area of effect. Now although that's a fairly simple concept, just creating a damaging area of effect at the place where you kill the enemy, it has huge implications and nothing really like that has been yet implemented into Destiny aside from the Dragon's Breath. If you're able to create a damaging area of effect like with a primary, with this scout rifle, you can really really have some interesting PvE and PvP scenarios. In PvP, being able to take out a pesky sniper at the end of a hallway and then actually lock down that hallway because you create a damaging area of effect to make sure that no more snipers will go back to that same spot unless they want to risk taking a decent amount of damage, that's a huge, huge PvP implication. That's going to change the way that maps are kind of utilized and the flow of the game. In PvE, that has pretty useful implications as well, even in, for example, King's Fall Raid, when Oryx creates the massive black orb and starts teleporting uh, people inside to fight the Shade of Oryx, and all of the Thralls are spawning and the people outside have to take care of the Thralls, the Thralls kind of all spawn from the same like black hole. It would be pretty useful to take a few out, create a few of those fires, and just damage all of the enemies that are spawning. That could be extremely useful. Again, it's a simple idea, but I like it. The gameplay implications could be huge. The next exotic we're going over is the Switchblade Thunder Exotic Snipe Rifle concept by Finley Matthews. Now this weapon, again, looks bloody amazing, but its exotic perk would be called Duo, and what it would do is give you the ability to make this weapon switch between a high damaging low fire rate snipe rifle and a low damaging high fire rate snipe rifle. Now that again is a pretty simple perk, but also a pretty useful one at that, giving you the ability to switch in between fire rates. So for PvP, if you're doing just normal crucible, you don't really have to worry about sniping off res, you can utilize the low damaging high fire rate version. However, if you're doing Trials of Osiris and you need to be able to snipe off res, you can switch it to do more damage and lower down the fire rate. Adding a degree of flexibility to a weapon is a huge asset. Now although I do see this sniper being utilized more in PvP, there's no reason to assume it won't also be utilized in PvE as well. 
Now the next exotic concept we're going over is the Fenrir's Wrath Exotic Scout Rifle designed by Dylan Flender. Now the exotic perk on this weapon is very, very interesting. It would be called Bloodlust and what it would do is that every kill with this weapon you will get a damage boost. And I know, I'm just going to stop here, I know what you're thinking, anything to do with a damage boost is incredibly overpowered in Destiny. But the second part is so interesting, that's why I had to feature this. So after you get a damage boost, you'll also massively lower your mobility. So you'll be doing more damage, but you'll be moving a lot slower. And this stacks up to 5 times. So eventually, if you get a 5 kill streak with this weapon in PvP, yes, you'll be two-shotting everyone, and it'll be insanely overpowered, but you won't be able to move. You'll be basically stationary, and that is such an awesome mechanic. I would love to see this in the game. Additionally, it would keep it from being incredibly overpowered because the first kill you have to get is just a normal scout rifle kill. So if you're doing something like Trials of Osiris and you have those 1v1s and you respawn every round, it really keeps this gun from being incredibly overpowered. And frankly, if there's some guy standing on top of a hill killing everyone and you can't kill one guy standing in the open not moving, I feel like that may be more your fault than the gun's fault. The Touch of Malice has shown us that a damage bonus, if it comes with a significant enough drawback, in that case damaging yourself, doesn't have to be overpowered, and this could be the next awesome addition that applies that principle. Look, I just want to become a stationary turret in PvP, that's all I want to do, that's why I want to see this gun in the game. Now the next exotic concept we're going to go over is a little different. For the first time ever in this series, we're going to look at an exotic armor concept. The Burning Fortress Exotic Titan Chest Armor by Paradox1055. Now the exotic perk for this armor piece is called The Burn. If all fireteam members are alive and standing in Ward of Dawn, you get a bonus where everyone deals three times the damage for five seconds. And yes, this would stack on top of Weapons of Light. Now I actually love the idea for this chest, it just gives a really really interesting a new exotic for PvE. For PvP I can't really see this being utilized that much, but for PvE, saying everyone get in my bubble and if everyone does and everyone is actually standing in that bubble, everyone will get a bonus where they do 3 times the damage for 5 seconds, that is huge and that's pretty awesome and I love the teamwork dynamic, like if you're playing an activity like a raid and there's six people. Getting everyone inside the bubble, depending on what they're doing, can be a little bit difficult. Like, it sounds good in theory, for example, uh, the Golgroth fight, getting everyone to do three times the damage. Obviously, that would be insane. However, remember, for the Golgroth fight, one person is off getting the gaze, and the rest are doing the damage. So, that wouldn't actually trigger the ability. So, you have these really interesting mechanics that you'd actually have to plan your playstyle around. Additionally, just being able to scale it for your fire team so if you're on a nightfall it would only be three people inside the bubble then it would trigger and then obviously the raid it would be six so I really really like the idea for this exotic I think it could make a really interesting addition to the game and I think that if it was actually in the game I would run this for my Titan that's how incredible I think this idea is Alright guys, the video is wrapping up, but we've got one more exotic concept to go over, and this is just a treat for you guys. This is absolutely the most insane thing I've ever seen, and here it is. The Beast's Rage Exotic Hand Cannon Concept by Rohit. And if you're thinking, wait a minute, am I looking at a crocodile mouth strapped onto a hand cannon, breathing fire? Yes, that is exactly what you're looking at. I don't even know if I need to actually go over the exotic perk because this is the most 10 out of 10 IGN rated thing I've ever seen in my life. However, the exotic perk is called Beast Hunger and what it does is that when you get a kill with this weapon, it would return a little bit of health. That's not what we're looking at. What we're looking at is again, a crocodile mouth strapped to a hand cannon. I absolutely love this concept. No, I don't think anything like this will ever make it into the game, but I had to show you guys it because it was absolutely amazing. Now that's going to wrap up the video. If you guys want to share your ideas for exotics you want to see introduced into Destiny, what you need to do is I'm going to make a comment 
down in the comment section below. Read this comment in its entirety because it's going to outline the format that you should submit your idea in, and if you do submit your idea in this format, you have a way better chance of actually being selected, and then just reply to this comment with your idea in the right format. Please don't spam, once is enough, in fact if you keep submitting it over and over again, you have a way less likely chance of being selected. Also, don't just go into the comment section and start telling people if their ideas are good or bad. The response responses to this comment are just meant to be people submitting their ideas. You are, however, more than welcome to, and I would really recommend you upvote the other ideas that you think are good, and the highest upvoted ones will again have a great chance of being selected. Now if your idea isn't selected next week, don't worry because there'll be a new exotic concept video every Saturday as long as there's interest. And if you want to show that there's interest in this series, again, please remember to simply rate or share this video, it really does help me out. And I want to again recommend that you check out Benjamin's art station linked in the description down below to check out the exotics that weren't featured in this video. Now that is it for the video, if you guys want to get in touch with me, the best way is to follow me on Twitter, that's linked in the description down below as well, as is my Twitch channel which you can also feel free to follow. Now if you want to see more Destiny content and don't want to miss out on next week's episode, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching guys, and have a good day.